Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a beautiful student management system project made using Python, Custom Decanter, and MySQL database. I'll give you a complete demo of how it works. So make sure you watch the video till the end. If you find this project helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more Python projects. Let's get started. So this is the login page that you are seeing. And if you are new, you have to register. You have to fill up these details. Full name, username, email, password, confirm password, and then select a role, whether admin or staff, and then register account. I have already registered one account so I will log in using that. So I can either enter the username or email. So I'll enter the username and I'll enter the password. So if I'll enter the wrong username or wrong password, it will show me invalid username or password error message. Okay. So make sure you enter the correct username and correct password. So once I click login, it says welcome Fazan Khan, right? So this is the student management system dashboard. Here you will see total students count, uh, total courses, attendance rate, and number of active students. Okay, so total students are 17, but only 11 are active. So you will understand uh, what is meant by active students a bit later. Then uh, you can see the graphs here. Okay, so this graph shows a student's distribution by course so here you can see all these courses and the number of students that are enrolled in each course for example in python programming five students are enrolled and this covers 31.2 percentage right then uh, this graph refers to attendance rate by course okay so each course has some attendance of the students right so computer science course has 100 percent attendance Similarly, Java programming course has 33.3% attendance and so on, right? Then this graph shows monthly admission trends in last 12 months. So in last 12 months, you can see uh, in uh, 2024 November, uh, one student took admission, right? Then in uh, December 2024, three students took admission. Then in January, two students took admission in 2025 then uh, in uh, October 2025 three students took admission okay so this way you can see monthly admission trends for last 12 months in this after that uh, here you can go to the student section once you go to the student section you will see uh, all these details that I have added so far so all these students are registered so far okay and you can see the color is changing whenever i'm selecting any student okay so in order to add a new student just click on this add a student so to add a new student you have to fill up these details so this student id will automatically be generated for you you have to enter the first name last name gender which is male then select uh, the date of birth okay then mention the email phone number address course in which they want to enroll and then date of admission so it will be a current date and then the status will be active okay so now if i try to save it says you haven't uploaded a student photo do you want to add the student without a photo right so let's upload a photo quickly so for now i'll just use this image here okay then i can save a student so the student is added and you can see the student here right if you right click on this you will see edit 
view profile copy id or delete the record okay if you click on edit so all this information will be filled in this for editing and you can edit whatever details you wish and then simply update a student okay so a student updated successfully and then if you wish to uh, view profile you can right click and select this view profile or you can double click on it to view the profile so here you will see the id name status uh, your profile picture then gender date of birth email phone number address course admission date and attendance rate okay since uh, no attendance has taken place so that's why attendance rate is zero all right and similarly you will be able to uh, copy the id or you will also be able to delete the record so if you have to delete the record select it and delete the record are you sure you want to delete ayaz ahmed this action cannot be undone yes so the student is deleted okay then you can also search any student since the list is long so you can search by id name or email so if i have to search hank so i'll type and click on search so i'll get the record here right then i can also filter based on the courses so if i want to only see uh, students who are enrolled in python programming so i'll just select python programming and will uh, click on this apply filter so these are all uh, in this python programming course okay similarly i can check the uh, records based on the gender so if i choose female if i want to see only the female records so these are all the female records okay and you refresh is to refresh then uh, export excel suppose if i want to export only male members so i'll just firstly apply a filter and then we'll click on this export excel and this will help me in exporting the excel okay so i can export it on my desktop and this is exported let me quickly show you so you can see that gender here is male right so all the uh, records where the gender was male those are exported here i hope uh, this is clear and then if you go to courses here uh, you will be able to see all the courses that are uh, added so far okay architecture code id right duration fees for the course and how many students are enrolled in that course you can also edit the details you can also delete the uh, course okay if you want to add a new course just click on add course and you will have to fill up this course name course code description duration fees and then simply click on save course okay so a course will be added just like these are added okay so accordingly you can see uh, like for python programming five students enroll in this course duration is five months fees is five thousand right so if you click on edit you will be able to see course id course name duration fees so if you want to edit any details just edit it and update the course so now you can see the fees is changed here okay so this is how you can add edit or delete the courses okay so if you wish to delete any course just uh, select this delete and delete course architecture this will affect one students yes okay so now the course is deleted then we can move to attendance section and here you can see the instruction uh, use mark attendance to record a student presence view records by selecting date and course filters okay so if i want to see uh, for all the courses i mean total attendance so far okay uh, the date is uh, this one so if i click on view records so here you can see attendance record for this date okay so total two present as one and absent as one right then uh, if you wish to check for other date previous date so we can click on view records and this will show all the attendance for this date okay for different courses okay so you can see uh, the summary here 
right you can also check individual courses attendance so if i choose python programming and click on view records so python programming attendance for this particular date is this right and if you have to mark attendance just click on this mark attendance uh, select a course like computer science and just load students so this will show you the students which i enrolled in this course right and then you can uh, just simply uh, put present or absent right for this particular date and then save attendance so once the attendance is saved then you can check the attendance for computer science view records so here you can see right so i hope this is clear then we can move to reports and here uh, this export students will export all the students that are there in the database i mean that have taken the admission so far right so once you click on this i'll just save it on my desktop so this is exported similarly we can export the courses uh, that are there so far So courses are also exported then we can also export the attendance so once you click on export attendance it will ask you for the start date from which date to which date you want to export the attendance okay so if i want to export the attendance from uh, 21 october to 22 october only so i'll just click on this export and i'll just save it on my desktop okay So these are all the courses that are there right you can see the course id course name course code description duration fees and students enrolled right similarly students export so you'll see all the students data everything okay so i hope this is clear and then if you see the attendance you will see student id student name course name attendance present or absent right and then we have this logout are you sure you want to log out yes okay so and then we also have this forget password so if you forget your password then you can click on this forget password it will ask you for your email address so mention your email address and a reset code will be sent to your email address and from there onwards you can just enter the reset code uh, on the next window and uh, you will be able to reset your password from there onwards okay so i hope you understood how this project works if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more python project videos you can find the source code link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.